evening guys. Tonight we're going to be taking a look at the Vostok Europe Anchar Limited Edition watch. Now this is a watch I purchased from uh, Craig Hester at Russia to All, who is an authorized dealer for uh, Vostok Europe. Vostok Europe is a company based out of Lithuania that produces watches using a variety of movements. Uh, initially they were producing watches uh, using uh, Russian movements from the Russian Vostok company. These are two separate companies uh, that share the the Vostok brand. This particular watch, the Anchar, is a piece that uh, is limited to uh, 3,000 per color combination. So to give you some history about the Anchar, the Anchar is a uh, submarine developed in the latter 1950s by the Soviet Navy to be the world's fastest nuclear attack submarine. It was called Project 661 Anchar, and only a single uh, vessel was actually produced. The hull was made entirely of titanium and was able to achieve a maximum speed of uh, 44.7 knots, or about 51.4 miles per hour. Uh, now you can see this watch is presented in a nice uh, plastic dive case. Uh, first when you open it you'll see there's a, a Vostok Europe uh, logo in the lid. They include uh, a little instructional manual going over some of the features. Uh, brief description on how to change the straps. This is an interchangeable uh, strap set. There's a little card describing the warranty and uh, where to send the watch for warranty repairs. Also included is a um, document listing the individual case number and uh, the water testing. Uh, looking at the case itself, uh, there's multiple compartments. Um, like I said, this is a watch set, so it comes with two separate changing tools for changing out the straps. Also in the kit is a uh, leather strap with the red contrast stitching and a uh, black NATO style strap with uh, red contrast down the center. Now the watch itself is constructed of a 316L stainless steel. The watch measures 48.5 millimeters in diameter and uh, 16 millimeters in thickness. The lug spacing is 24 millimeters. There's a screw down crown at the two o'clock position and the case is rated for water resistance of uh, 30 atmospheres or 300 meters. There's a unidirectional uh, 60 click rotating diver's bezel and you'll notice if you look closely the bezel tapers or angles inwards towards the crystal. The crystal is a, uh, a really wide flat mineral crystal uh, with uh, anti-reflective coating. Now on the dial, uh, this particular watch features uh, tritium gas tubes. Uh, those are the uh, pale uh, yellow uh, markers that you see on the uh, inner bezel as well as on the hands. Most of them uh, glow a pale green, but the tubes located at the 12, 3, 6, and 9 position glow in a pale yellow color. I'll try and have a, a loom shot uh, on this video as well. One thing that I find very interesting with this watch um, is that the main hour hand is uh, shaped in a large arrow with uh, two tritium tubes uh, embedded within it. I think that's a pretty neat design that they've added to this watch. Also, the main seconds hand, which is bright red in color, has a large uh, anchor design uh, at its base, which is also pretty neat in keeping with the kind of the naval design and, and, and the submarine theme. Now the movement powering this watch is the NH35A uh, Japanese Automatic which is made by Time Module Corporation which is affiliated with Seiko. The movement is a 24 joule automatic with a bi-directional winding rotor. It has a frequency of 21,600 uh, beats per hour and a 41 hour power reserve when fully wound. Uh, this movement does have a hacking function. Looking at the case back Case back features an etched diagram or drawing of the uh, Anchar submarine along with the uh, K162 numbering of the uh, the submarine that was produced. 
Uh, also, uh, down at the bottom, you'll see uh, the individual limited edition uh, case number for this particular watch. So the strap itself is uh, black silicone rubber. It's very soft, and uh, it has uh, Vostok Europe um, written across it. Uh, you'll notice that the strap integrates uh, flush against the case, so it's custom fit for the case. Um, again, it's attached to the case by these uh, star-shaped screws on either side, and that's why they include the two tools uh, to help you swap them out. The case itself is uh, beautif beautifully finished. It's um, got a nice uh, polished uh, sides and then brush finish across the tops of the lugs. All right, here's a wrist shot for you guys. Uh, just for reference, my wrist is uh, 7 three quarters inches. Um, this watch at 48 millimeters is definitely uh, in the oversize uh, range, but the watch is very comfortable. Uh, the lugs do curve down uh, to kind of contour to the wrist. The, uh, the silicone strap that it comes on is very soft and uh, conforms very nicely around the wrist. So I thought I'd give you a quick look at how the watch looks on uh, some of the other optional straps that it comes with. Here's the watch on the leather strap with the red accents. You can see that the, the red accent stitching matches the, uh, the dial very well. And the leather strap is actually very comfortable. It's um, quite thick. Comes with a nice uh, polished buckle with the Vostok logo on it. Um, you can see it's quite thick. It actually tapers down towards the buckle. It's thicker at the case. And just like the, uh, the silicone strap, it's molded to fit the case exactly. Okay, so here we have the Anchar with the, uh, the NATO strap installed. Again, I, I installed it with the buckle away from my wrist. And you can see, um, you know, it has that really bright red stripe down the center. And it really uh, plays well with the uh, the bright red accents on the dial. So it's it's very comfortable. Um, you know, there's plenty of length in this strap. I tucked the uh, the extra into the uh, the outer buckle, but you can see how much length there is. And again, my wrist is uh, seven and three quarters um, in circumference. So there's still plenty of room. Um, I'm all the way down uh, close to the uh, innermost opening on the strap. All right, so I thought I'd go over a little demo of the uh, strap exchange on this watch. Um, most watches that you'll see have a spring bar that goes across that holds the strap in place. This one actually has a screw and a tube system. Uh, that's why they include these two screwdrivers because they use a special star-shaped screw uh, to hold the strap in place and the, the star-shaped screw um, has the same star shape on both ends. So what I do is uh, they, they have one tool that's longer and the other one that's shorter. You can see here. Put the shorter one in the one side, which is going to be stationary because I'm holding the case down so the case doesn't uh, move around. And then the other side I push in place and, and I just turn the one side. So I use the one side to loosen the entire screw. Basically I'm, I'm stabilizing um, the screwdriver with the palm of my hand and just gently twisting with my fingertips. You don't want to put too much pressure on it because if the screwdriver slips off the screw then you might gouge the case of the screwdriver. Um, but I find that this star-shaped screw actually has a little post in the center. I don't know if you can see, it might be too small. But that actually um, holds the screwdriver in place a lot better than some of the other um, small screws that you'll find on watches. So again, I'll take the, the right-hand screwdriver, put it in place on the screw, Hold the case down with my index finger here. And the other screwdriver I put in place on the other side. 
I stabilize the screwdriver with my palm here and I just gently turn with my fingertips to loosen the screw until it comes out. Now you might find that the, the tube portion is still embedded in the case so to release that just take the screwdriver and push it against the opening that the uh, the little mail end screw came out of and that'll pop the other end out so you can slide it out. So you see this one is kind of a, a long threaded tube. Actually what I found is this tube is actually threaded on both ends and this other end is actually another uh, screw just like this. But you'll find that one of them will loosen um, as opposed to the other one will stay in place. Now. If you're installing it um, to wear, I would recommend putting some thread lock uh, in the screws so that they don't loosen up and uh, fall out with wear. So then the strap comes out and you can see it has little pegs on the, uh, the case side that uh, match up with the little indentations on the case. So when you put it back on, it aligns properly. So the one thing that they do mention in their um, little handout is that the first time you um, install some of these straps, uh, they may be a little tight uh, for the screw to be able to fit through. So what they recommend is you take the screwdriver that's included and just gently turn it um, in either end of the strap to slightly widen the hole so that the screw can pass through easier. All right, so that's just a brief look on uh, how to um, remove and exchange the straps on this watch. Overall, I really like the looks of this watch. I like the uh, black and red color combination that they've used on the dial. I like the uh, very unique hour hand with the uh, large arrow shape incorporating the tr tritium tubes. Also, I, I really like the bright red uh, seconds hand with the uh, anchor uh, at the bottom. Um, I think that the, the bezel design uh, with the angling towards the crystal is uh, very interesting as well as the, the positioning of the crown at the, the 2 o'clock position. Um, what's really nice is uh, they've included you know an entire kit uh, with this watch, uh, included in this uh, nice diver's style plastic case. The added straps are, are a very nice touch, uh, and they all um, <clears throat> are in keeping with the dial design of the watch using the, uh, the black straps with the red accents. Um, the included tools are also very nice. Um, and overall, I think the presentation is uh, well above and beyond what would, one would expect from a, uh, a watch in this price range. So, <clears throat> if you guys uh, like this watch, I'll, I'll put the links uh, to uh, Russia to All's website uh, at the bottom of this video. And if you guys have any questions or uh, comments, please uh, feel free to post them below and I'll try to answer them uh, as best I can. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching, and uh, stay tuned for more reviews uh, coming up in the future.